Hello guys, Omni here. I want to take a second to thank everybody that's been following the channel here recently, especially everybody that's been participating and carry on these conversations down in the comments below. That's been like such a great part about making these videos is just kind of going down there and actually getting to talk with and ha carry on some conversations and expand our thoughts on the things that we're talking about in the videos. It's been really great. I love, as much as I love just making these videos, and rambling on about the things that I care about. I really like the engagement that's been going on and it's been improving. And as the channel's been building, we got more voices down there and it's been awesome. And I want to thank you guys so much. Today, we're going to be talking about the full trailer that is released for the DC Universe's Swamp Thing. Now, we haven't covered, there was two teasers that came out before this. They were just too short and didn't give enough away at all that I didn't feel like there was any reason for us to cover them. I don't know enough about Swamp Thing to really give a valid input or pick out the clues from the little snippets of uh, clips that we got in those. So I, I just felt uh, it was best to just, just let those go and we'll cover it once a full trailer came out. We're going to go ahead and dive into this trailer and see what we have to work with. Oosh. DC Universe Original. Okay. Atlanta called really? Situation back in the States. Where? James Wan. You're kidding. How long has it been since you were home? A while. We, we don't know what this is yet. The hospital is on it 24-7 and the CDC. She was in Gotham. My name is Dr. Abby Arcane. My team is here to find the source of this disease disease Ooh. Saw Claudia, dealt with anything like that? Ooh. Who are you again? Pollard. Al Collin was investigating illegal dumping on the swamp. Hello? Dr. Jason Woodrow, the CDC is in town. There's no way that my accelerant is responsible. There's this uh coming off the small you should be dead there's been a shift in the balance of the light in the dark something's out there swamp thing we're dealing with something beyond the known scope of science i need it alive to study there's all kinds of awful that happens in this swamp there's something special about this place. Oh, there's so much unimaginable beauty out there, Abby. The swamp had enough. This is payback. Oh. Oh Lord. Okay. The little bit we see of him looks great. So I have, I, I mean, I have some questions cause I, like I said, I don't know the Swamp Thing character that well. I know him as far as I've seen him in the live action films that came out long time ago. I saw those and loved those growing up. I can't remember them for crap except for how he looks in them. Um, I have, some knowledge of him from the uh, the Justice League Dark uh, animated film that came out not too long ago, and the comics as well. For those, uh, it didn't really dive into him too much. Um, I know that, uh, he, I think, I, I don't, okay, I'm not even going to pretend to know. I know that he is a, like, god-tier character as far as his powers go. Um, I know he gets his powers from the source called the green, which is like the colored spectrum of nature. And he's borderline a deity. Um, his one weakness is his human body, which I, from what I understand is it was dumped in this swamp. Uh, he became entangled in this, like, I, I don't even, it's just it, a bunch of comic book gobbledygook. 
Now, I don't know if he's going to be the result of the chemical dumping in this, because I know that was one version as well, that the chemicals that were dumped in this swamp, along with his body, uh, kind of resurrected him and gave him this form where he be kind of he kind of became one with the swamp. So, and he kind of carries out this vengeance of, of, of those that have been abusing nature and abusing the swamp, uh, poisoning, polluting, kind of like, <laughs> kind of like a really creepy Captain Planet in a way. And there, there's a lot of, I know they were going like a body horror kind of direction with this. And that definitely uh, matches the course here with James Wan being the executive producer for this series, which I thought was quite the surprise. I know the guy in the suit physically being Swamp Thing has a long history of playing a lot of uh, monsters and uh, killers among different uh, horror franchises. So he's got a lot of experience in that physicality and being in this kind of a suit and that kind of a role, that lingering brooding kind of power role. Uh, we saw some decent gore, a lot of, lot of cringy body horror in this. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm curious to see what the overall tone is going to be once it's out. I, I, like I said, I, I didn't like Titans so much. I didn't, I love, I love Doom Patrol. And this seems to be just another, th they definitely like these shows, these live action shows that they're going to be really dark and really, really for adults. They really are pan pandering to a demographic that usually is looked down, up not really thought of that much, I don't think, when considered for comic book or superhero fans. And I, I understand that. It's like a, a lot of people grew up with that stuff. A lot of people that are going to be in this app watching these shows uh, is a much more mature audience, I would say. It, it's definitely geared towards that. And I do appreciate it for that, but also as that same kind of fan that grew up with this stuff, I I wanted to stick true to the characters. That's one thing that Doom Patrol did very well, was that it brought to life their world and their lore and all of that ridiculous stuff, but took it seriously and mature, made it mature in a way that didn't really detract from the characters. Titans was dark just to be dark. It was moody just to be moody. Raven is that kind of character. Dick has a duality with himself, but he only, they, they I'm, I'm getting into too much of, about those shows, but I'm not going to go on our tire, a Titans rant in this. I am looking forward to this because the Swamp Thing character is a tragic character. It, lends itself to these darker elements, to these deeper thought-provoking elements, to this kind of shocking imagery, this body horror, this, uh, this setting of the isolation of nature and nature taking everything back or getting vengeance upon itself for those uh, that are destroying or polluting it. Uh, it, it. It at least lends it to that kind of tone. And Teen Titans just didn't. That's all I'm going to leave it at. Sorry. You can't, for me, you can't talk about DC Universe and not, I can't just scoot over just how much I just could not resonate with Titans at all. Hopefully season two will be better. Uh, there's a lot more coming out with that here. And I'm looking forward to see if they, uh, if they can win, if they can, not that they need to win me over, because there's definitely a demographic of people that did like it. And I completely understand that I can definitely I can definitely see how people did like the show and do like the show for me it just didn't work and it's okay for you if it did Doom Patrol freaking love it I think anybody should watch that show fan or not of DC comics of comic books in general I recommend that show it's just it's ridiculous it's a lot of fun and it's just different from anything else you can see on TV well, you can't see it on TV. It's on the DC Universe app. And so will this be. Unless you're outside the US, then it'll be on Netflix, from what I understand. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I, I, I'm I willing to give them pretty much the benefit of the doubt on any of these shows. Right now, like I said, they've got one win for me. They've got one loss for me. 
Uh, so that's enough. Doom Patrol is a mu enough of a win to just have me invested and interested in whatever they're going to bring to the screen next. So at this point, I'm rambling, and I'm going to pass this off to you guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. What is your interpretation of this? Fill me in on anything that I don't know about Swamp Thing because I'm going to do some research on it here myself. I should have probably did that before the video, but... I don't have enough time, and uh, that kind of shows with how behind I am if you've been following on Instagram or Twitter here. I'm, I've am i got a to-do list, and there's, uh, there's only a couple things that I've been able to tick off of it. So thank you guys anyway for listening to me ramble and being here. If you want to support the channel, make sure to hit that like button. If you didn't like it, be honest with yourself and with me and hit that dislike button. I want you guys to always be honest, and I'm looking for ways to improve, and you got to let me know. <sighs> but that's it for today, guys. Thank you all for being here, and thank you again. Thank you, everybody, for engaging in the comments and following the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.